Granger was the type of guy if he decided he wanted an airplane, so he built one. My dad knew that Granger was not just mechanically intelligent, he was, I don't know, mechanically he could do anything. There was nothing that he couldn't fix. It was a six or seven foot piece of the fuselage that they had cut up with an ax. Some of the landing gear was original. The engine, of course, was original, and he found a cockpit, but the cockpit wasn't complete. Everything else was built by Granger, and no plans, just photographs. If you climb, stuck your head in the cockpit, the one thing that a lot of people noticed is they said, is that a Coca-Cola symbol? He used a great big, huge aluminum Coca-Cola sign, curled it to make it part of that fuselage. Another part of that fuselage, a great big Texaco sign. Most of the wing is uh, skins off hot water heaters. Sitting beside the actual factory built airplane, you'd never know the difference. Whoever's flying that plane today probably thinks it's a real Kitty Hawk. I've been wondering what happened to it, where it went. Do you know where the Kitty Hawk is? Well, I know a man in uh, the prairies uh, bought it, and he might still have it, or maybe he sold it to someone else. I don't know. Well, this, gen uh, this gentleman that we're about to call, yeah, um, he has information on where it might be or where it oh, is. Oh, good. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Can, can you see me? Yeah. Uh, we can, yes. Uh, my name's Glenn Blackaby, and uh, I've been working with the Dakota Territory Air Museum now for 12 and a half years. We have a lot of aviation uh, artifacts and airplanes that have to do with national aviation, and we have some international uh, aviation uh, displays also. Oh, hey. Should be able oh, wow. To see the people the, in the background yeah so, oh, oh yeah that's so yeah. that's granger's plane then yeah wow i don't know how much of the history you know about that plane but uh the gentleman who built it this is his sister by the way <laughs> okay yeah. are you granger's sister yes yeah. are you re in the process of restoring or is this being dismantled a little bit for other p40s it is actually being in the process of being restored only to the static uh, to a static display condition. Okay. Of course, Bob Demert um, told me that he had it restored to complete flying condition. They said Granger had done such an excellent job in taking what he did have, from what I understand, was from a scrap yeah. car in British Columbia, that he did an excellent job with those materials so yeah. that they were able to go on and make a full recovery. I'm, I'm glad to see it still alive and, and kicking. I don't think he ever thought it would ever fly. And mm -hmm. so it's it's amazing to hear that it's that it's uh, yeah. it was flight worthy, yeah. You know, someday I'd like to maybe come down and see it, actually see it. I sat, yes. in, I sat in that cockpit uh, many times pretending to to be a pilot, so. <laughs> so feel free to come uh, anytime. It was good to meet you, Robert. Yeah. Good to meet you, Gabe. Yeah. Yes. It's been a great conversation. Yeah. And, and I, I really appreciate this.